Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 84 of the Decades Challenge. Um, so Evelyn is currently mourning at her husband's tombstone. Uh, she's currently feeling all the feels because uh, they just got news that Norman has died. Um, so Norman is their first son that went off to war. He was supposed to be the heir. Uh, he's not going to be anymore. He has passed away at war. And they just got the news now. Um, so she is feeling really sad. Every, everybody in the household is feeling sad, actually. Um, Joyce is just trying to have a glass of water. The Grim is, is here, and he won't go away, so that's just how it is. Um, and he thinks he's carrying something, but he really is not. Um, so Joyce, trying to calm down with a glass of water. It's not really working, though. Um, she's feeling really upset. I don't really know... Um, where things are going to go from this point. I mean, we know now that Joyce is going to be our next heir. It was supposed to be Norman because he was the firstborn, but he has passed away. So, um, she's feeling sad that her brother is gone. I'm going to get her to do some laundry, but they need to carry on with life. They still have to um, take care of their house. They've got bills to pay, and we don't have much money either. Stanley is calling. Uh, let's go and... Um, evolve these but yeah like I said we are we're pretty short on money and our bills are due as well let's go and sell all of the sage um I think our bills are a thousand yeah a thousand ninety two which we cannot afford we only have 377 and the ghost of Norman is phoning us <laughs> that just makes things worse um so yeah uh, Evelyn's taking care of the garden I think it just feels important to her that she still takes care of the garden even after um, Lorenzo is gone. So we're selling a few things. We don't normally sell our garden stuff, but we need the money right now. And so we're going to sell a few things. And then this, um, I mean, let's fertilize the cow plant. It's not growing as quickly as I thought it would. I thought it'd be a lot further along by now, but it's just kind of hanging out there. Um, Joyce, she's doing laundry. She's fine. Charlotte, um, maybe I'll get Evelyn to come and spend some time with Charlotte, hug lovingly, and teach her how to talk as well, I think. Just spend some time with her granddaughter. Um, so right now at war we still have, um, Robert has gone, I think, no he has not, it's not Robert, it's Stanley, yeah, Stanley is still at war, and so is, um, Lewis. So we still got two of them at war, and... Right now where I'm at is I'm thinking that Evelyn is feeling like um, she can't just sit around and do nothing while this is going on. She just lost a child in this war and she wants to do something to um, sort of, I don't know, contribute and to make it feel like she's not just sitting around waiting for bad news to come. Um, she still has another child out there and uh, Robert too, when he ages up, he'll probably have to go as well. So. I've been debating about Evelyn, or I guess she's debating in her mind about going to war as a nurse. And um, I think she's kind of torn because she doesn't want to leave Joyce and Charlotte and Robert behind. But at the same time, she knows Joyce can take care of the family. Um, she's been doing a pretty good job so far. And I think Evelyn just really feels like it's something that she needs to do. Um, don't wash hands. No, let's go fix this. I think Charlotte had a bit of a temper tantrum and wrecked that, which is unfortunate because it's very expensive. Um, where did Evelyn go? Oh, she's gonna go cry in bed. Yeah, she's just feeling way too sad to deal with life right now. Um, she's suffered a lot of loss, I think, in her life, and it's, it's really depressing. Let's actually get Joyce to come downstairs. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that, so I think I'm gonna get Joyce to do, um, uh, I just want to see when she's aging up. Well, she has six days still, so she has quite a bit of time. I feel so bad for Evelyn, like she just is struggling so much. Um, maybe we could do some flashcards, that might kind of help take her mind off of things. Teach Charlotte basic needs. I think what she's doing is spending all this time with Charlotte because she knows that she's probably going to end up leaving. Um, right now she's kind of torn, she hasn't made the decision yet, but I think she's feeling like it's just something she has to do. Um, looks like she's actually struggling with Charlotte a little bit, and now Robert is home. I'll get him to go do his homework. When is he aging up? He has three days till he becomes a teenager. So Joyce, I mean, she's going to have her hands full, I guess, with the house and her own child and her little brother, but he's almost at the age where he can take care of himself. So it's not going to be that bad. Uh, it's not like he's 
a toddler or like he's going to be a child for a really long time. Um, what I'm thinking though is that Joyce has no way of making money. She's still a student. I think she has a part-time job and that's it. She's a nanny on the weekends and that's just not going to cut it. That's not going to pay the bills. We can barely make it now. So there's a really good chance that we will have to move to a new house because this is just... We're living beyond our means at this point. It's a beautiful home. I love this house. I've grown really attached to it but I just don't think we can afford it anymore and our family is much smaller now. Everybody's away. I'm gonna get her to go bake something. I don't know why. Let's just make some um, some sugar cookies. I think that sounds pretty good. Just something to make everybody feel a little bit better, I guess. Um, Robert's busy doing his homework. Charlotte is getting upset because she doesn't want to do flashcards right now and her grandma is making her. I'll get um, Evelyn to play with her and hug her as well. There we go. And Evelyn, I don't think she's too old to go to war either. She's still only an adult. So she's like, she's basically, I don't know, in her late 30s, maybe early 40s. So uh, she's not too old to go. And I think that that's just something that's on her mind a lot. So we're probably going to say goodbye to Evelyn in this part just for a little while. Hopefully she will come back. But I like the idea of her kind of going out to try to help. It really is, I think it suits her personality. She is a good sim, she's paranoid, she's cheerful, and her being at home thinking about all the things that could go wrong is just driving her crazy and she needs to get out there and feel like she's helping. So I'm gonna get everybody to come have some cookies. Robert is upstairs crying because um, he also got the news about his brother as well. See, so this family is just always sad. This has been um, kind of a depressing generation, I guess, because um, I guess the 40s was a difficult one, or the 30s, where we were in the 30s, is a difficult one. And I definitely get that. And I think that it's coming through in this, uh, in this, um, in this generation. It, it's been difficult for them. They faced a lot of problems. Um, so let's actually go and potty train Charlotte, and then Robert, what are you doing? Don't, please don't go wreck that if that's your plan. Oh, it wasn't his plan. Okay, you can go play dolls. Just don't smash it because that's frustrating. I don't think he will. He's not angry. He's just sad. Okay, I really wanted her to potty train Charlotte, but I guess she doesn't want to. Please go do that. Uh, Evelyn, you can come clean this up. It looks like Charlotte is a bit of a handful. What is her trait again? Did she get fussy? Yeah, she did get fussy. And I can tell. I really can. Hold on, let's everybody just leave her alone for a minute. Let's feed her. Um, let's give her some peas. I doubt she'll eat them. She'll probably throw them on the floor, but we should definitely try. Um, um, Evelyn's just, all she wants to do is cry in her bed. Oh, okay, so um, just walk away, let her eat. The high chair is always just so bugged that nobody can ever... Leave the toddlers alone. Yeah, she threw it on the floor. Uh, okay, well that's it, I guess. You don't want it, that's fine. Um, let's go potty train her. I hope that she'll actually do it this time. Why? Like, why won't it happen? I think what we need to do is move it, maybe? Maybe it's in a spot that is just not accessible? I don't really know what the problem is, but come on. Let's figure this out. Ugh, now my game's gonna shut down on me. Please do not... Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, let's move this to... I don't even care. Like, the hallway is fine. I don't care. I just want to be able to use it. Uh, please go and potty train Charlotte. There we go. Okay. Uh, that looks like it's going to work this time. Um, Robert, I know it's not late or anything, but I just want to get them to go to sleep. I kind of just want to end this day. They probably all would like to end this day. Evelyn is just out wandering in the rain. Um, our cow plant hasn't grown. I'm, on, I'm not sure if it's ever going to. It's been like that for quite a while. Okay, why can't anyone go in the bathroom? What is the problem? For some reason, there's some kind of issue where they cannot access the bathroom. And I don't know why, because I haven't changed a thing about it. It's the exact same as when I left it. And then you can read or put Charlotte to bed, I guess. 
and Charlottesville has quite a bit of time before she ages up six days. Also, somebody commented and said that Charlotte should be an actress. I love that idea because I haven't really played too much with the actress career. I did do, why can't we go through doors? Oh my God. Um, I did play with uh, Get Famous a little bit. Okay, go to sleep. But not, not as much as I'd like to. So I do like the idea of Charlotte being an actress. We might do that. We'll have to see how things go. There we go. So everybody is asleep. So that's good. I'm thinking that Evelyn is probably um, still kind of thinking in her mind what she should do. I think it'd be a really tough decision for her to decide between leaving her family, who is perfectly safe and sound, or going out to try and help the rest of your family and feel like you're contributing and trying to make things better um, when the rest of her family is in danger. So, oh. And I think it contributes to her uh, paranoid trait as well. Like, she's probably thinking the absolute worst, and she, in her mind, probably thinks that none of her family members are ever going to come home. She'll never see them again. So she might as well get out there and help them. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for her. No, no, no. It's four in the morning. You can't have cookies yet. That's, oh, what is this? Oh, that's the peas that Charlotte threw on the ground. Of course it is. Okay, so she's supposed to go to work today, um, but I don't want her to. So let's get her to um, quit job. No, I don't want to take a vacation day, I guess. I don't want her to quit her job. And let's go make some breakfast. This is going to be, she's going to make breakfast for her family. She's woken up and decided that she has to go. She can't just sit around anymore. Um, so let's go make some omelets for everybody. Um, can you go to the washroom or the bathroom still is just not usable? Oh, she, that's so stupid. I don't know why she was able to do it, but that's really weird. And then you can take a bath, I guess. And then Robert, uh, he has to go to school in a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's get him to come downstairs and wait for these omelets that his mom is making. And then I guess that's when Evelyn will break the news that she's leaving, and she's leaving Joyce in charge of the house and of the family as well. I don't know how they're going to afford it though. On one side, I think it's a little bit selfish because Evelyn pays the bills around here, um, or at least she tries to. It's still a struggle right now. Um, we're literally going to have our, our power cut off probably today. So I think our only option will be to downsize and move into a smaller house. Um, you can come get some of this. And then Charlotte, I'm going to get her up. There's also a helicopter going over my house as we speak. Teleport. Oh, did it not work? Sometimes the teleporting is a little bit weird. There we go, that worked. Go grab a serving. Okay, so let's get um, Evelyn to talk to her daughter about this. Let's have a deep conversation and ask for advice, I guess. She could probably ask her what she thinks about her leaving. And I think that Joyce would be really terrified, <laughs> terrified to be on her own. What are Joyce's traits? Bookworm and art lover. I always forget for some reason. This makes me sad because I really want Evelyn to come back. Okay, so they're just they're just chatting about this and it looks like Joyce is maybe on board. She's at least going to sit down and hear her mom out, which is nice. Charlotte, did you eat that? You certainly did not. Why? Why didn't you eat it? There you go. Right on the floor. That's what I like to see. I hate when they walk away with it. Okay, so no, don't go cry in bed. Don't do that. Go um, give Robert a hug, I guess, because she's leaving now. Uh, let's do real deep secret. Kiss cheek. That's a cute one. It's a very motherly thing to do. There we go. Okay, so she said goodbye to Robert. Let's go say goodbye to Joyce now. Um, we will do ask for money as if. Um, console about death. See, she's still sad about that. Um, hug lovingly. And then we will lecture her about responsibilities as well. Because she wants to get through to her that she has to take care of the rest of the family. Okay, come on. Stop talking to him. He has to go to school now anyway, so he's leaving. And then we'll say bye to Charlotte as well. Joyce is just too busy cleaning up all the dishes. See, I guess we don't even really need to lecture her about responsibilities because she already takes them pretty seriously. 
Oh no, Joyce thinks she's going to school, but she is not. Yes, skip school. No, you don't go to school because, you know, we've got other things going on here. Um, we'll do lecture about responsibilities and then we'll do um, hug lovingly. Come on. I feel like, jo yeah, see, Joyce is already like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me. I get it. Uh, oh, that was a negative interaction. I didn't really expect it to be that bad. Oh, for some reason that makes me sad. I don't know why, but it just does. Um, how do I want the screenshot to be? Because it's probably going to be the thumbnail. Um, that one's pretty good. There we go. Good enough. One of those two will be good. Okay, so that is that. Let's um, just see what we have in our inventory that we could possibly give to Joyce that'll help. Um, those are our bills, but I don't think we can transfer those to anybody else. No, we can't. Um, there's some toys in here. Let's give those back to her. And then I guess we could give her this sage and the mushrooms and like all the stuff from the garden because she could probably use it all. Good enough. Okay, let's um, go to... I think it's M commands maintain move and then uh, we'll move her in with like um, probably Louie wherever he is Louie not Louie it's Louis I don't know why I thought his name was Louie um, Osvaldo Turner she has a relationship with him there we go go live with Louis there we go okay so that's it Evelyn is gone she has left Joyce on her own and uh, here comes Charlotte wondering probably where her grandma went Let's go um, stack these blocks, put the clothes in the hamper. So the pressure is really on for her and I'm not sure what we're going to do exactly. Let's go sell everything in our garden. We can at least do that, um, but the power just got shut off to our house. So we need to find a way to pay that. Um, we can sell our garden. Oh, 444 bucks. See, I, I don't know if that's considered cheaty or not, but I like the idea of Joyce growing her own vegetables and sort of taking over... Her dad's garden and actually making some money off of it so let's um we'll sell our sage and this one as well I don't want to sell absolutely everything our peas are really good quality though like I don't know I, I feel like we should should we sell them you know what I'm gonna sell them honestly because what else are we gonna do with them we have no other way of making money she can't get a full-time job because she's only a teen so let's um go and pay these bills now because we can afford them we did the whole power um outage thing and we had no water for a long time i don't really want to live like that again it wasn't fun for me at all uh now she needs to have some fun i don't know what's fun for her could she go read a book i'm honestly not sure if that would be considered fun but i'm gonna just I'll find out yeah she's enjoying it okay and then Charlotte is playing with her toys, so that's good. She can stack the blocks. Robert has met Fletcher. Lewis is at the door, but I mean, we're going to pretend that's not happening. You don't just get to do drop-ins when you're at war. Uh, so, I think... Uh, Norman is calling. He's a ghost now, of course. Uh, I'm waiting for the laundry to dry so we can go out and take it off the clothesline. Um, I think there's some in this in the, in the tub. Yeah, there is. Okay, um, I mean, I don't even really know what we should do. The house is doing pretty good. We could clean the high chair. That's kind of dirty. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that we're going to move out of this house. We can't really afford to stay here. Um, I like the idea of setting her up with a garden somewhere. I probably, I don't think that she would leave Windenburg. There's really no need to do that. But definitely downsizing, I think, is a good idea. What is Charlotte doing? I'm going to get her to go take a nap on the couch. There we go. House is not dry yet. It's really hot outside. We're currently in the middle of a heat wave, so I'm not sure why that laundry is taking so long to dry. You'd think that would speed up the process for sure. Um, and how's our garden? It doesn't, doesn't need water. That's good. Um, everything else looks pretty good. I like that everybody's just out and like living their lives like inside their house is it's so depressing and like the story is sad and all these terrible things are happening to them but outside in the real world it's very modern everyone's having a good day there's like an iced tea stand <laughs> people are playing at the park and going for jogs and 
Meanwhile, they have no idea what goes on in this house. What is that? Oh, that's weird. There's like a that black line. I'm not sure what that is, but it reminds me of a glitch we had in The Sims 3, which was really terrible. Um, also, I think that I'm going to upgrade Joyce's room to Evelyn's room. I don't know. Is that is that disrespectful for her to sleep in her mom's bed while she's gone? It might be. Um, so what else can we do? We've got these toys. I'm going to put them in the toy box so that Charlotte can have them. Um, we don't really need anything else here. I don't know what she can even do. Like, everything go is going really well for now. Um, can we add a laundry additive? I doubt it. Add flowers. Oh, we have uh, we have a pack of starter her herbs. Let's, let's open that, actually. I want to see what's in there. Um, so sage, basil, and parsley, which I think were already growing, so that's not that exciting. I don't think, I don't think we really need to do anything there. Yeah, I don't even know what she can do. I know that she's an art lover, so I could see her wanting to spend a little bit of money on art at some point in her life, but definitely not right now. We cannot afford it. And then Robert is home. He can go take a bath. Uh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, she wants to go cry it out. See, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, she can't just cry all the time. I guess she'll get over it eventually, but right now she's feeling really depressed. Um, oh, is that her outerwear? I like it. I didn't even know that. Like, for, um, for hot weather. Let's get Charlotte up. I really want her potty trained, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, potty training is, like, the next thing that I'd like to do. Because then we don't have to worry about it so much. And also, I guess the movement skill is a nice one too, because she can go up and down the stairs by herself, so that's always a good one. There we go. Level two. Uh, let's go serve some dinner now. We'll do um, mac and cheese. We can't really afford much. How is she doing? She's good. She's got this. Uh, yeah, Robert was just crying. Maybe I could get him to do his homework. And I think he has a school project as well. This takes such a long time. Okay, um, now Charlotte, you can, can she come down the stairs by herself? I'm gonna test that out. I don't know if she can yet. There we go. Uh, what is this one? Is she too hot? Uh, hot from being hot, no, oh, hot from being hot due to temperature. It's too hot for this toddler. Try cooling them down by changing into some cooler clothes or bringing them inside. Well, she is inside. Um, maybe some cooler clothes will help. I don't know. I'm not sure what her hot weather outfit is. Oh, it's that. Very modern. That's not really what I would have chosen, but okay. Let's grab some of this, and then Robert can have some too. Of course, we have to monitor her to make sure she actually eats it. There we go. I love that she just sits on the floor now. That way I can make sure she's actually eating that food. Put this in the fridge. Um, maybe she could talk to her brother a little bit. Let's, um... Complain about problems, complain about heat wave, no, brighten his day, try to be positive, because everything is really sad right now. Um, we could discuss his sad mood, because I think that it will actually help, and also, we should, um, if we can, adopt him as, like, our caregiver or whatever, or set as the caregiver. I'm not sure how to do that, though. And I guess, maybe teens can't do it. I thought that they could. She's a really good sister. She's discussing his sad mood, and then I think what we should do is... Um, what about unfair life? Maybe Don't do that. Me? Teach a valuable, less, valuable yeah. lesson? We could do that. Uh, okay. And then That's maybe... Um, hmm. I don't know. There's not that many options. We could hug him. The, the kid looks like he could use a hug. Like, he's just so sad. He kind of fades into the background of the story as well. Like, he's not really an important character at all. <laughs> okay, I guess he maybe he doesn't want a hug. Well, at least they're talking. I think that's kind of nice. Um, so he's going upstairs to play dolls. I'm going to get her to clean up this plate. And then I think um, Charlotte is asleep on the couch, so we could probably tuck her in. For some reason, it was a uh, struggle last time I tried to do it, but I'm going to try it again. Read Charlotte to sleep. She, for some reason, didn't want to bring her in here, and I don't know what the reason was. Yeah, she still won't do it. Okay, fine. Go to sleep. And then Charlotte, teleport here. Go to sleep. Robert, go to sleep as well. I think this bed is probably better quality. 
The other one is like custom content, like a blow up mattress for the sleepover mod. So you probably don't get a great sleep on that one. There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna get her to sleep in Evelyn's bed just yet. Maybe we'll wait a little while. Um, I like her room anyway. It's it's good enough. She's had it pretty much her whole life. So I'm pretty much fine with her just sleeping there. Uh, and then for Robert, he does up tomorrow. And then Charlotte still has a few days. And then also, I think Joyce has five. Oh, four days. So Charlotte and Joyce will age up the same day. So what's happening? Why are we not at ultra speed anymore? I don't know why the game does that. But yeah, it just feels kind of weird that we're in this big house with like two empty bedrooms um, when we don't really need to be. Okay, you can get up. Go take a bubble bath. And Norman's fine, Charlotte's fine too. They can just kind of sleep in or whatever they want to do. It doesn't really matter. And then um, let's go downstairs and grab some leftovers. I guess I should stop getting her to cook all these like grand meals every single day when we have a ton of leftovers. There's only three people in this house. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, he's eating. Okay, well that's good. Um... Get yeah, go get leftovers. And Charlotte is gonna use the potty, so that's good. School starts in an hour for Robert and Joyce, except Joyce, we already know, is not gonna go to school. I wonder how much longer she's gonna be sad for. Two more hours. I really hope that Lewis will make it back. I honestly do. Um, Norman I wasn't that concerned about because I, I rolled the dice. Um, because I was thinking like if one of them is gonna die, maybe we could do it, you know, now <laughs> would be a great time. Um, but for Lewis, like, I, I actually would like to see him come home. I think that'd be good. And I think Joyce, I, like, I wanted to have more kids and just things for her to get, things get better for her. I would definitely like to see a happy ending somewhere. This whole generation has been pretty depressing. <laughs> Let's put this here and then she can come have some garlic noodles. There you go. Uh, Robert's up to school and, no, 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 don't go to school. Don't go to school. <sighs> Fine, send to daycare. I'll just cancel it. Yes, you're skipping school. I don't know why, but it's just... I keep forgetting that I need to make sure to cancel that. Um, so this broke. We have to repair it because it's 100 bucks to repair or to replace. And I don't want to do that. Nope, Charlotte, eat that. And who's boning? Oh, the principal. Yeah, he, they're probably not happy with her school performance, but she's got stuff to do. Um, let's put that laundry on the clothesline and then throw that away. Also, I've been thinking about getting a pet as well. I think that would kind of help their mood and make everybody feel better. Um, so maybe a dog would be good. We could look into that. I mean, we don't have enough money for it, but I think we should do it anyway. Um, let's go to, where is it? Hire a service. Yeah, I'm doing this now, by the way. I mean, it just popped into my head, but I definitely want to do it before I forget. Um, so we've got Bell Moki. What is this one? It's a uh, Bocker. I'm not really familiar with that breed. I was gonna say brand, but they're breeds. Cody is a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, I was thinking of a big dog. Maddie looks a little Maddie, all right. Uh, got a couple of Golden Retrievers, English Foxhound, mixed breed, Otter Hound, Italian Greyhound. Oh my God, it's Kermit. This dog looks just like Kermit. I. I, I want them, but at the same time, I don't. I think we should get this one, the English Foxhound. I mean, yes, I really wanted the Kermit dog, but um, maybe not for the Decades Challenge. Any other time, definitely. Okay, give me this puppy. Where is it? I do not see him. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. I'm not even going to see what his traits are. We're just going to get him. I think this family could really use a pick-me-up, and that's going to be in the form of a puppy, and he's so cute. Um, he looks like the dog from the fox and the hound, kind of. Let me just look into this. <laughs> the fox and the hound. I need to know what the... It was Todd and Copper, but I don't remember if the dog was Todd or Copper. Um, I do like the name Copper. I think Copper was the dog. I'm pretty sure. And then Todd was the fox. Let me just check on that, because I'm not so sure. Um... How do, how do I find this out? It's not... Oh, okay, yeah. Copper was the dog. Okay, so... Um, can we name him Copper? It's a boy, right? Let me just see if it's going to generate boy names. Kipper, Gunner, Sydney, Magnus, Chubbs, Jax. I think that those are all boy names. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's just name him Copper. 
I think that's a good name. And it suits him. Um, I know Copper was a hound, but <laughs> that's okay. This dog just kind of looks like him, so. There we go. We got a puppy to make everybody feel better. I am going to leave this part right here. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.